Is what anybody got any confetti? Yes! yes. Every girl oh, wow. likes to take control of her wedding. So what happens when she has no say on her big day? Oh, they are awful. We're not doing it. Don't tell the bride is back. This is ridiculous. As ever, the grooms are in charge. I want this big donkey at the wedding. I'm going to love you on our big day. But with £12,000 to spend <gasps> and just three weeks to throw the wedding of their dreams... Tell them I'm all there. <gasps> ...have the boys pushed themselves too far? Oh, my God! You're fired! With more shocking... More outrageous and more daredevil weddings than ever before. Will there be a happy ever after? This is not the thing you get wrong the day before your wedding. Will true love save the day? Come on, what is that? Come on, what is that? Or is it a countdown to disaster? Three, two, one! Tonight, thrill seeker Craig plans an adrenaline fueled wedding for his country girl bride to be. You make a surprise. Bang. But with Ellie hoping for a more grounded day. I dread to think what he might be thinking. What happens when a skydive and a bungee jump take centre stage? Oh, my God. Can Craig get his head out of the clouds and pull off the most heart-stopping wedding? Or has he stretched himself too far? Oh, man. Are we getting married at some point? I feel so alive. Seven-year-old Ellie met her childhood sweetheart, Craig, when they were just 15. Craig was brought up in London, but moved out to the country and joined Ellie's school. And it wasn't long before they caught each other's eye. I sort of knew you from afar. We knew each other through friends. You were quite quiet. Well, I was quite good in school. <laughs> and you were definitely a naughty kid. Compared to you, probably. <laughs> yeah, compared to me, yeah. He was, like, this skinhead with, like, the moped. But actually, when we started speaking, I realised that he was actually quite sweet, which I think was surprising for how we came across. Now working as an electrician, moving out to the country was worlds away from the city life he was used to. My upbringing was rough and ready. I moved around a bit, lived in a few different houses, went to a lot of different schools, uh, associated with a lot of different type of people. But steadfast country girl Ellie finally got Craig feeling settled. Ellie's my stability. She keeps me with my feet on the ground. I think if it wasn't for Ellie, my life could have been different. Keep me out of yeah. trouble. Keep me out of trouble. With Ellie having a stable job working in retail, she's in no hurry to move away from the countryside. Lived in Pratt's Bottom my whole life. Went to the local village school down the road. Everyone sort of knew each other. We'd all like walk to school together, play in the fields, play on the haystacks, get told off by the farmer. <laughs> After leaving school, Craig whisked Ellie away on an adventure and took her travelling around the world. We've been to a lot of places in the world and we went travelling for about five months. Best thing we've ever done, 100%. Ellie's probably had quite a comfortable upbringing. Before she met me, he's probably not that experienced in life in terms of what is out there. Once back in the village, to save money for their first house together, they moved in with Ellie's parents, where Mum, Kerry, rules the roost. She is the ultimate organiser. Um, she organises everyone, the whole family, all of her friends as well. And Craig's future mother-in-law already has concerns about what he's planning. My mum is terrified of Craig planning the wedding. I don't think she quite knows how to cope with not being involved, not knowing what's going on, um, not having any say. I think it is literally going to kill her. I'd love to be there with him all guys, isn't it? Absolutely. Giving him ideas. I would. Come on, give me an idea. really killing me. Any advice? What's, me, what's the advice, then? Don't invite the mother-in-law. No. <laughs> you haven't got one yet. You've got three weeks still. It's hard when you're used to taking on board everything and sorting everything out, and suddenly you're just like a spare part. I book everything, I sort everything out, and if anything needs to be done or something, everyone seems to ask me, and I enjoy it. That's why I'm not enjoying this wedding. <laughs> so Craig has his future bride and his future mother-in-law to please. No pressure, then. I'm the only daughter, so I think it's definitely a massive pressure for Craig, um, pleasing my mum. And perhaps his mother-in-law's right to be concerned because bad boy Craig has a passion that he wants to feature in their big day. Oh, yeah. I try absolutely anything that gives you a genuine. Bungee jumping, skydiving, rock climbing, motorbiking, car racing. As many life experiences as possible. That'd be great. But Craig's down-to-earth fiance doesn't share his devotion to danger. Oh, he loves it. I don't know anyone that's done a bungee jump that said they enjoyed it, but he genuinely did. I'm scared of flying, so I don't know why he enjoys that kind of thing. Cautious Ellie has far more grounded ideas for her big day. I think you always imagine what it would be like. I've always imagined my wedding being local. I've grown up in the countryside in the local area, so I guess I've always just imagined that it would be in the local church over the road, quite traditional, you know, that kind of thing. But with adrenaline pumping through his veins, this thrill seeker wants to give his bride-to-be, his future in-laws and the local village a day they'll never forget. 
I want it to be different, I want it to be unique. So I think something adrenaline based, I suppose. Anything where you feel like there's potential danger, I think if you let your fear overcome you, then you'll, you'll never experience anything in life. It's time for Ellie and Craig to say goodbye. But before Craig sets off to organise the biggest day in either of their lives, Ellie has to organise Craig. Oh, have you checked your list? All right, go through it and I'll tell you. Your iPad and shower job. Yep. Ninja Turtle pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your hat and your wallet. Check. You've got your watch. Yep. What's it? All packed up. Ready to go. And of course, there's only one way thrill seeker Craig likes to travel. That's it then. Have fun. I'll trust you. Love you. Wish me luck. Drive safely. Craig might have just moved out of his in-laws' house, but for the next three weeks, he'll be staying at their holiday home in a caravan park in Whitstable. And while Craig checks in, Ellie settles in to three weeks by herself. It feels really serious, like, the not knowing, not seeing him, not knowing if he's OK. It's really strange. Strange that I'm not going to see him and strange that next time I do, it's, like, on, like, one of the biggest days of our lives. <laughs> It's day one, and after a lonely first night in, Craig's waiting for best man Jamie to arrive, so he can get to work on some high-flying ideas. How's it going, man? How's it going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. How you been? Right, you know what? Craig's going to be uh, carrying out stress, worrying about stuff, getting things done to a schedule one time, and I think I'm going to just be a calming influence. What's, what's the plan? Well, the idea is based as a, like an adrenaline-based idea. I think... Uh... What, hang on. For the, adrenaline for the wedding? For the, the actual vows. Actual... The, the main part. <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, skydiving. I could skydive into the wind. Oh my god. Bungee jumping off a hot air balloon, <laughs> off Tower Bridge, off the Shard, uh, off Tower Bridge. How about how you. Oh. I think Craig's good for what his ideas are. He's quite headstrong. Um, whether, he, whether he's thinking about Ellie with his ideas, I'm, I'm not sure. How do you think Ellie would react to Dana Vows having a ceremony? <laughs> Something like a bungee jump, skydiving. Uh, on the wedding day, that's. That's Do bold. In her, in her wedding dress? Yeah, after we saw vows and... Go. You're up there, you get married up there. You may kiss the bride. Bam. Jump. Jamie needs convincing, so Craig's got a plan. With nothing booked yet, Craig's whisked Jamie away to an indoor skydiving centre to show him how this wedding could really take off. Fantastic. That was, that was also epic. It's just confirmed that this is exactly what I want. This is what life's about. The buzz, the thrill, living. And uh, why, why not incorporate that in a wedding day? I think even if she was scared before she does something like this, After this week. feeling now, yeah. she's feeling like this on a wedding day, that's got to be a good thing. While the boys are talking about jumping out of aeroplanes, right to be Ellie together with her mum and her bridesmaids have less extreme ideas. I suppose I've always thought it would be local, probably in the village, the village church quite traditional, like, go to the church, then walk back. Like, typical, like, countryside wedding. That's what I've always had in mind. When you think of a wedding, you just think mm. of a church a reception. I think you always assume you get to organise it. Yeah, Mum yeah. definitely does. That's killed me. <laughs> Absolutely heartbroken. When it's traditional, you just think that's what it is, isn't it, in a church? Mm. God, yeah, as long yeah. as it's nothing he did on his travels. <laughs> I worry that he might have some funny ideas about something he might think is good. And once he thinks it's good, that's it. He'll think it's a really great idea. I dread to think what he might be thinking. It's the next morning, and fully pumped about their wedding plans, the boys have arrived at a local airfield to see if their sky-high ceremony can even take off. I want to find out if it's possible to do a skydive into the wedding, into the ceremony. Uh, I want to find out if it's possible to uh, hold the venue here, and obviously possible to get a, a bungee here also. Skydive into a <laughs> wedding. Uh, yep, definitely possible. Seriously? Absolutely, no problem at all. And how would we go about that? And <laughs> would it be... Is there, is there a building or a marquee? Um, you'd have to look at, you know, using a marquee, something like that. Wow, sounds fantastic. So far, so good. But the boys want to bounce off one more idea. I want to get a bungee jump as well. Oh, yeah. So could we get a bungee jump on In the here? side? It's not anything that's ever been done on the airfield before. <laughs> because we're not allowed to fly kites here, for example, because they go up in the air. So I think it's unlikely we'd be able to get a crane in here to do a bungee jump from. Oh. <laughs> Hadn't thought about that, had you? <laughs> it's so f***ing messed up, isn't it? Pretty much as you climb the bungee. 
Yeah. Think, hang on, no. Sacrificing what I actually want just to fit my activity in. Not content with throwing Ellie out of a plane, Craig wants to erect a bungee crane and throw her off that as well. But that can't happen at the airfield. And so the venue search goes on. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Kent, the bridal party has arrived at a small village church where Ellie dreams of having a traditional wedding. Without a parachute or bungee rope in sight. Flowers to fit in. Yeah, loads of flowers. A candle. A traditional ceremony is definitely important. Come into quite traditional music. Dad walking down the aisle with the bridesmaids. The sort of traditional ceremony, and then coming out and having the bells ring in and like the confetti outside the church. What are the chances do you think of Craig picking something like this? I don't know, but I just have a feeling he won't pick no, a church. I don't think he picks church. He so likes to, like, rebel against tradition, doesn't he, so... But do you think he might consider it knowing that that's something that... Yeah, he... maybe. He's thoughtful, he's definitely really thoughtful, but not necessarily... He's not traditional. traditional. No. He'll think of something, like, really meaningful and lovely, probably. Yep, a meaningful bungee jump and a lovely skydive. <laughs> Adamant on giving Ellie two adrenaline experiences, <clears throat> Craig's travelled over two hours to an airfield in Peterborough to make it happen. See? Thoughtful. The idea is that we skydive into the wedding. We have a walkway of some sort to a bungee, which we get married off. Does she know what you're planning? No. Oh, that's right. marvellous. That's going to make life interesting, isn't it? If the guests are here, can I jump first? So I jump into the wedding, and then she comes afterwards, on a, so we jump at different times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that wouldn't be a problem at all. Could they dive in their suit and dress? We normally put a jumpsuit on people purely for safety reasons. The only thing we have got to insist on is you have to have a hat on. Can we put a marquee up? Yeah, you can put a marquee up right out here. Basically. Yeah, depends how big it is. We can shift the tables. We will cater for you. We're here to help you. Was it two weeks' time? On the two weeks, could be there. So the weekend, 13th, 14th, 15th. Friday's the 13th. Friday would be better. Did he just say Friday the 13th? Yeah, we can do Friday. Unlucky for some. But Craig books a venue for £3,500 that will hold his two separate skydives and a bungee jump wedding in one place. And all on Friday the 13th. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Unaware of the impending wedding taking place on the unluckiest day of the year, mother-in-law-to-be Kerry is convinced Craig has Ellie's wedding wishes in mind. I just think Craig's thinking of Ellie. I'm sure he is. I just wish I was there to prompt him. <laughs> if I think that Craig's been maybe selfish, I don't know whether that's the right word or not, if he's just thought of himself. I mean, he loves to do adventurous things. Has he only thought of himself when he's done it? I wouldn't want her to be put in danger. And I wouldn't want her to look a bit of an idiot in a wedding dress. No danger of that. She'll look lovely dangling upside down. Back at the airfield, the boys have worked through their plan. <laughs> Ellie will skydive into the ceremony before being hoisted 200 feet up again for the vows and finally bungee jumping back down again for the reception. Kerry's going to have kittens. How tall is it when it's up? The crane, I think, is coming. It's going to be about 58 metres. So compared to the hangar, how high? How? Five times as high. Five of those. So, in your opinion, what, what would be the best way about me protecting her from mooning the guests? <laughs> Uh, um, a, a, a matching lycra uh, shorts yeah, okay. <laughs> underneath, okay. potentially. Lycra shorts, lovely. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'll just have to get some shorts. With the skydive, marquee and bungee coming to £5,500, it looks like Craig's budget is rocketing towards a crash landing. What do you think she's going to be thinking? I think she's going to be absolutely bricking it. I think she's going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. But when we sat down on day one and described the wedding, this is it, yeah. To be epic. This is it. <laughs> this is it. the beginning of week two, and with Craig's adrenaline wedding at full throttle, it's time for his biggest risk yet. He's in search of a wedding dress fit for his bride to wear when she's dangling from the end of a bungee rope. This is the most important thing, is just trying to find the right dress I like, that I think Ellie will look good in. We could spend forever trying to pick the right dress. Do you want it white or, like, the off-white sort of ivory thing? Yeah. Uh, you see the different colours? Yeah. I don't know. Mate, this is ridiculous. This is impossible. Looks like Craig's finally found an activity that does scare him. Meanwhile, Ellie's brought her bridal party to find her dream wedding dress. Hello! Hi. The thought of Craig being able to pick the dress, yeah, it's a bit scary. I quite like the one behind you with, like, the lace. With the high lace neck, yeah? yeah. OK. The perfect dress that I have in mind is, like, Millie McIntosh's wedding dress, where it was, like, the lace on the top, really quite simple and classic. She had, like, the lacy top, so not, like, too much, but, like, maybe, like, a bit sheer with some lace, um, like, fitted at the waist and then, like, out. But having no say in what Ellie will actually wear finally gets too much for Mum Kerry. Oh, Mum! Oh. Come in! Oh, oh. Oh. Come on. 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 Come on.
It's supposed to be a happy day. <laughs> I'm still finding it hard. I think I'm accepting that there's not a lot I can do. I think out of everything, the dress is the most important thing. I love this one. I love the lace neck. Keen to avoid a dress that's too revealing, Ellie has opted for one with a high lace neck that covers her shoulders. I think the worst thing is something really fitted and um, open, you know, nothing to hide behind. While Ellie wants modesty, true to form, Craig is after something a little more daring. There's a dress in here now that she'd be really happy with. That's, that's your job to find it, you should know. What are we doing here? I feel sorry for you, to be honest. The boys have chosen a selection of revealing strapless dresses. Because, let's face it, there'll be more than enough straps on that bungee harness. I really like that one. I'm going to have problems now. I do like the way it almost looks like you belong on top of a wedding cake. What are you thinking? No, I do like that one. Oh, Craig, that was like a wild card. That was like... That one, you put that one in just to confirm. Yeah, we don't want that. Basically. Oh, man. After work, isn't it? It's stressful, man. This process is something women do for a year. I'll be gutted if, it, if it's wrong. I'll be absolutely mortified. Even if Ellie was here now, she, would, know, she, she would be struggling. She would be struggling, yeah. But Ellie isn't struggling. As she's found her dream dress that she's about to show to her mum and bridesmaids. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 after hours spent looking at strapless dresses, the boys have whittled it down to two. <laughs> Craig's favourite is a blingy crystal encrusted gown, but he thinks Ellie might prefer a ruched satin number. Question is, which one to choose? Oh, man. What, what are you attracted to? Which one are you attracted to? Oh, I think she'd go for this one, but I like this one. So it's tired. Will he gamble on the one he wants, or go with the one he thinks Ellie would like? I like that one. I think she, if she was in now, I think she'd just say, I want this one. But I think that one's nicer, and I think she'll look better in that one. I don't know. I'm going this one. Boom. Decision. Yeah. Right. Good effort. It's going to be a gamble. I just, I just hope it's a gamble that pays off. Craig's decided to gamble on the dress he likes. No. He might be a daredevil, but that could be his biggest risk yet. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for making you shine. Yes, and with £1,300 spent on the risky dress, Craig's already blown over half his budget. It's the middle of week two, and Craig's about to give Ellie and Mum Kerry a hint of the adrenaline ride to come by sending them to pick up Ellie's wedding invite at Chessington World of Adventures. Are you excited now? <laughs> no. <laughs> the only problem is, before Ellie gets to see it, <laughs> she must first go on a roller coaster as a clue of what's ahead. One happy bride. Having braved the roller coaster, Ellie finally gets to see her wedding invitation. Thanks for the bride. You're invited to Craig and Ellie's wedding. Friday, Friday 13th of June. It's the worst possible day. It's the one I didn't want, but it's the one I knew was going to come up. I just had a feeling this last few days it was going to be the 13th. At least it's sooner. We've got to wait less time. Yeah. Clearly disappointed, Mum Kerry is soon speculating as to why exactly they're sat in a theme park. I think it's going to be something. Like a theme park? I don't know. I just think the ride was a clue there, I think. It's the beginning of week three, and time for the bridesmaids to see what Craig has chosen for them to wear on the big day, unaware that one of them, along with Ellie, will be thrown out of a plane in it. If this industrial estate is anything to go by by our dresses, I'm not that impressed. Oh, it's so to see you. Uh, right, are we excited? Yes. <laughs> Nervous, excited, 50-50. Right, don't go in yet. That's yours, Amber. Right. Because of obvious reasons. Right. One of you two have to decide who's more adventurous and who's the oh, Craig. Between you. Craig, what have you done? When you say brave, do you mean like... What do you mean by brave? On the day, you might have to be... One of you might have to be the bravest. Oh, man. Can I just do rock, paper, scissors? Because I thought I'm not going to agree to do it and you're not going to agree to do it. Yeah, go on, just do it. Go on, rock, right. paper, scissors. <laughs> Without realising it, Natalie's just volunteered herself to skydive with Ellie on the big day. Oblivious, the girls try on their dresses. <gasps> oh! 
Not being allowed to skydive in dresses, Craig has bought skydiving onesies for Ellie and lucky bridesmaid Natalie. Can you put the hood on, please? <laughs> Still, she does get a dress for when she lands. Yay. Thank you. Which is a relief. I, I just don't get it. I don't know what it means. That's what. If I knew what it meant, then I, I would get it. But I don't. I don't get it at all. No, I suppose we'll know that on the day, won't we? With Craig's plan still a mystery, Amber fills Ellie in on what she does know over a pre-wedding beauty treatment. Last night we got to see the dresses. Yeah, and was everyone happy? Yeah, I know. We've got to the dress place. Yeah. And there's three, like, little curtains, and behind each curtain, we thought, was three dresses. So we've all pulled back our curtains, and behind the curtain was an owl onesie. An owl onesie? <laughs> Why? I don't know, Elle. And I suppose we'll find What's out the, the rest on Friday. I don't know. I don't get it. What the hell has that got to do with anything? The owl onesie being a topic of concern. Little do the girls know, that's the least of their problems. There's just a few days left until the big day, and the boys are checking the budget to see how much their adrenaline-themed wedding has cost them so far. Where are we with the budget? I think we're at probably about 10 grand. Right, let's start big things. Skydiving the ground rent, the use of the facilities, venue. venue. And his dress? 1280 with shoes, Val, alterations. With some food, entertainment and last-minute decorations still to buy, it's time to see if the £10,000 Craig thinks he's spent is correct. 11,388. 50 pence. I don't even like the minute, so you've done something wrong. I think you might have done something wrong. What did you think it was going to be? Uh, about ten. He may be in control of his wedding idea, but Craig seems to have lost all control over his budget. Oh, mate. How did you make that mistake? So we've sat down, broke everything down, worked out all the costs. Uh, we had a sort of rough idea. That's the first time we've actually broke every little bit down uh, and added it all up. Schoolboy, really. As the big day fast approaches, the budget's on the breadline. It's time for Craig to arrange Ellie's Hindu. And these girls have big ideas. Guys, I've got a text. Oh, my girls, for Ellie's Hindu, with a double O, do. <laughs> We've organised a swanky bar in central London for you all to party the night away with your own area, some drinks and food thrown in too. However, the only problem is you have to get there yourself. So how far? <laughs> 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 going to a bar in central London. The only problem is, is that I've got about 25 people here now that I've got to try and get there. Um, so we're going to have to try and get some taxis, get ourselves to the station. But yeah, we just want to get going now. With no choice but to slash the spends, Craig set aside just £100 for drinks and nibbles at a club in London's pricey West End. I think he's literally run out of money. I think this is a good sign that the wedding's going to be really good. Yeah. Or this is a sign, this is a sign of what's to come. <laughs> he's that disorganised. He hasn't, done, like, hasn't got a transport to the wedding. Hasn't done anything like that. We'll see. Over in East London, the stag do has kicked off too. And it's not just the girls facing cutbacks. Craig's got tough and made all the boys pay their own way. And acting tough isn't easy when you're dressed as a fairy. Oh! We put more effort into the wedding. That's right, yeah. We've got this, this stag do, obviously, we've got compromise between the wedding and the stag do. And I think uh, Jamie's had really short notice. It's been difficult because there's quite a lot of people. So it makes like, it sound like it's really rubbish, though. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. Oh. Oh! Right, it's all Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> Meanwhile, after almost an hour's journeying into central London, the 25 hens are looking forward to being spoiled on their big night out. I hope we're nearly there. <laughs> Bit of a long one. We should have got a taxi for Nan. <laughs> Only to find that Craig has put on a buffet and some balloons. Hopefully, Craig has spent so much on the wedding day that that's why he scrimped on the Hindu, and not that he's forgotten this because it's just not important. Wow. I have faith. I have hope. I do at the moment. I have hope. <laughs> yeah, we have hope. That's it. <laughs> The next day, and as Craig recovers from his budget stag do, he has time to reflect on the build-up to his wedding. The last three weeks have been uh, really difficult, more difficult than what I would have suspected. Initially, I think it's going to be what, you know, what I'm in my dress, my hair, what do I do about my shoes, what I'm going to wear, like, I've got to get changed. So, yeah, the bundy's going to be the big ass, I think. The reason I'm doing these things on my wedding day is because I've pushed her to do things maybe that she's not comfortable with, and I think she feels a lot more safer uh, when I'm there. And to celebrate that on a day, it's quite a significant meaning. 
So I think it'd be cool. It'd be good. You roll back down. It's the day before the wedding, and Ellie, Mum Kerry, and the bridesmaids are about to see the dress that Craig has bought for the big day. Hello. Little does Ellie know, tomorrow she'll be bungee jumping in it with a harness strap round her as well. You're nervous about seeing the dress? Yeah, really nervous. You are? OK. Yeah. Would you like to come through? I've got the dress here that Craig's chosen for you. The dress is really important. I really just want to feel comfortable and happy with it so that I can relax and know that I can enjoy it tomorrow. Oh, it's in the bag. <laughs> well, Ellie, this is your dress. This is the moment you've been waiting for. I think if, he, if he's done well, then he'll just top it. If he hasn't, he'll know it by the time she gets there. <laughs> if he hasn't, it might not be, would it? Risk taker Craig gambled on a strapless revealing dress. Ellie wanted something classic with a high lace neck to cover her shoulders. There's a lot riding on this choice. Come on, Ellie! Come on! Come on, Ellie! Oh, look at that. I can't hang on, it's really long. Oh, oh it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Look at the back. Oh, look at the button. Oh, yeah. Really lovely. Oh. oh, I really, really love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh my god! Wamper with crystal. Yeah. And one pair of shoes. Oh, the shoes are lovely as well. He's done really well. I really love the dress. I love the vow. I've got shoes. It's beautiful. I feel so relieved. I'm so much more relaxed now that I don't really mind what happens tomorrow because it, no matter what, I've got a really lovely dress. It is literally perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mum, someone give her a hug. <laughs> Considering Craig's never even bought a dress of any kind before, he's done really well. With the wedding coming around tomorrow, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Um, not quite sure what he's got planned. Anything to go by the dress, then I think we've got nothing to worry about. With the fears of the onesie forgotten and the budget Hendy forgiven, it seems that Craig's risky choice of wedding dress has paid off. I don't know what to really think at the minute. No. Like, he's, he's done so well with everything, I've just got... I've got no worries now about tomorrow. I think the main thing is a venue and a dress for yeah. LA. Yeah. Once you've got that, anything else can sort of come along, can't it? Mm. Everyone's delighted. But just before they leave, Craig texts one last piece of news. Hi, girls. I've paid for a hotel for you all tonight. You have a couple of hours' drive ahead of you. Can't wait to see you all. Getting close now. Lots of love, Craig. Kiss. P.S. You best get a move on. Oh, my God. <laughs> what time do we have to leave? How many hours drive? This is a couple of hours. As the girls head off on a two-hour journey away from Ellie's beloved village... Thanks, ..the boys have arrived in Peterborough to start setting up the marquee for the wedding reception. I look sick, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. You think it looks right? Yeah. You don't think it will be like why we sit on a park bench? No. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I can't wait to skydive. I can't wait to bungee. I can't wait to do a lot. For me, it's relatively normal. There's two things I love doing and to do in your wedding day. It's going to be amazing. I hope she accepts it and just, you know, enjoys it, really, because at the end of the day, it's, it's life where you have to enjoy it and live once. On the eve of her wedding, the bride is left wondering why she's almost 200 miles away from her local village, where she dreamed of getting married. Not really sure why we're this far away. I keep trying to think of reasons why um, we would be somewhere like this. He must have picked this area for a reason. Hopefully it's something really good. I'm a little bit scared, um, a little bit nervous that he might have something up his sleeve. They're not sure what's going to happen. I just hope that it's going to turn out really well. It's the morning of the wedding, but the boys still have a lot to do. Craig is theming his marquee around the places he's been with Ellie, but with just £250 left in the budget, the boys have hit the discount aisles. Let's go, man. We haven't much time. Over in a nearby B&B, Ellie is reflecting on the day's significance. Getting married is really important. It's something that I've always wanted. For my dad to be giving me away, um, it's a massive deal for my mum. So, yeah, it's just really important for the whole family. At the marquee, Craig is quickly dishing up his budget banquet for his travel inspired reception. Where's this shit going? I don't know, I'm not worried about that, I don't care if it gets up, but you just worry about that. Okay, man. We're on. I'm getting stressed now, yeah. The time's getting closer. I'm really stressed. Still got a bit of skydive, finish off touches, a lot to do, and we've only got about an hour and a half to do that. Short on time and out of cash, Craig's asked Ellie's dad Trevor to drive her to the wedding. It's an ideal solution. Or at least it would have been had Craig given decent directions. As time ticks on, Trevor's very lost and very late. You feeling all right? Yeah. Sure? Dad's not here yet. Don't, don't worry. worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Lost. Ellie, don't get upset. Don't get upset. We'll be fine now. We, we're not going to leave without him, so don't worry. He'll get here. It's fine. He's just a bit lost. We'll get him. We'll get him. 
It'll be fine, Emma. Don't ruin your makeup. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, fine. Emma. It's going to be amazing. Ellie's wedding day is completely up in the air, which is ironic because Craig's about to make his own skydive entrance. But while he has no idea about Ellie's hold-up, down on the ground, the arriving guests have no idea, well, what's going on at all, really. We're in an airfield. It's all very scary. She doesn't have to jump out of an aeroplane. I have no idea what he's doing. I really don't. Meanwhile, with Craig in mid-flight, Dad Trevor has touched down at Ellie's B&B. Just the hour late, then. Dad's got a bit lost, so it was a bit of a last-minute worry whether he was going to get here on time, but he's here now. Couldn't have gone without my dad, so I was getting really worried. <laughs> How do, you, how do you reckon to that? Brilliant. <laughs> oh. Was it scary? Oh, do you know what? I needed it. I needed, needed it. it. I needed that. It's stressful. I needed that, yeah. Would you do it again? Hey, mate. Yeah, As Craig lands, the wedding party consider what lies ahead for Ellie. I wouldn't like this wedding. I don't know, though. I'd like something quiet. Yeah. Ellie's a girly girl, expecting probably to walk down a church in a lovely wedding dress, and then she's got to take the wedding dress off and put a jumpsuit on and jump out of a plane. I don't think she'd like that, not on her wedding day. Back at the B&B, it's time for Ellie to reveal her dress. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Oh, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his red wine. <laughs> Ellie's finally up and running, but back at the venue, Craig's still having problems. The minister has another appointment booked, and with things running late, time is running out. She yet with no ride, she has to do her um, skydiving. She then has to go back into the um, hangar, get changed, before we start the ceremony. So it's not looking good. The bridal party have arrived, having missed Craig's parachuting entrance. And as Mum Kerry buckles up on the front row, with the bridesmaids walking through an aircraft hangar full of parachutes, the pennies dropped. Except Natalie has her own bombshell. I'm six weeks pregnant. Who is the bride? Can she do the activity? Plan. Can I do what's planned? I can't say yes or no. It's up to her. It's her choice. It's her choice. I, I can't guarantee anything. She's got to make the decision. I think. Do it. I think Tara should do it. I think you should do it. Okay. Is that okay? I think it's worth risking. Okay. Cool. Really done. With Natalie carrying a passenger of her own, Tara's up the creek without a paddle. As she gets her head around being hurled out of a plane with the bride, an oblivious Ellie and Dad Trevor finally arrive. Are we at an airport? Are we flying somewhere? <laughs> Craig's organised a bit of a surprise for you. I can tell. It's your entrance into the wedding, not, actually, not the actual wedding, just right. entrance in, alright? Okay. So we're just going to go through here and you'll find out exactly what it is. Okay. Alright? Yeah. Come cool, let's go. Oh my god. What the hell is that? So here's your changing room. Changing room? Oh my god. What the hell is that? That is the outfit that you need to put on, okay? Right. Then you can do your entrance to the wedding. Do you want to Hello. Hi. Hi, Chris. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I was going to be with you the whole time. Tara. The whole time. What, like, strapped to me? Next like, to you. Next to me. Next to you. <laughs> OK. Uh, I'm going to be strapped to you. You're strapped to me, OK. Yeah. Sure, you going to be fine. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. But just as she's getting ready to jump, the minister's getting ready to leave. She's due at her second booking. So Craig's ceremony is on hold till she gets back. Sorry to put it down right on your wedding day. I swear I'll come back. See you soon. Right. I'm really concerned. I'm not concerned. I'm really worried about it. So hopefully she hurries up because we're uh, running out of time. Meanwhile, Mum Kerry has seen an aeroplane taxiing into position and has guessed what that means. The wedding party see Ellie disappear in the plane. Oh Mum Kerry's worst fears are realised. Oh, I don't want to go in the plane.
She's down sight. The girls have survived. More surprisingly, so has Mum Kerry. I felt sick. I felt ill. <laughs> but now I think, oh, damn, what happens? Anything can happen, it, I don't yeah. care. It's all good news from here. Unless you count the bungee jump and the fact that the minister's done a runner. Cute best man, Jamie. Uh, we had a minister. So, so we're just going to do this straight after just the uh, skydive. But the minister, which is our up, because we knew she had to go. All the timings and stuff. She had to go do something else. Obviously, this was not the plan, but shit happens. I feel really sick. And with that, Ellie faces a two-hour wait in a rusty old air hangar. While all the guests start the reception pre-wedding without her. Apparently, the minister's gone home. <laughs> <laughs> We've eaten before the ceremony. What's that about? If it's Craig's planning, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I think that's a typical, typical man. <laughs> He's a typical man and typical Craig. Oh, my God. I've got a hat mark. We've been here how long? Three and a half hours? Three hours and... Nearly four hours. Ooh, okay. And we haven't had a wedding yet. No. The wedding's actually going to be sometime this evening. Yeah. But with the food and a fair bit of drink polished off, the minister returns. It's time. Are you all seated, please? Finally, for Ellie to get wed. It's like nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. I still haven't seen Craig, so I'm just dying to get on with it now. Cue best man Jamie. Again. So, after your epic entrance. Yeah. <sighs> we've got. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Are you joking? Are we getting married at some point? We're getting today? married right now. <laughs> right, let's go then. But before that. Before this that, is obviously. Before, <laughs> before that, this lady. Okay. This got to put something on you. And who doesn't love a bungee harness with their wedding dress? How? Dress? Yeah, yeah. It's going to hurt my legs. No, but listen, listen. No. Just remember, this is exactly this is what you're doing now is what Craig wants for you. Right. And he wouldn't do anything you don't want to do. I don't want to get in the harness, Jay. <laughs> my harness has fallen down. There she is. Look, look, look. There she is. What the f is that? It's almost time for Ellie to take the plunge. Hi! After three weeks apart and nearly five hours of waiting in an air hangar... Oh, my God! Uh... Ellie finally gets the chance to throw her arms around Craig. So far, everything seems forgiven for the skydive. But there's one last thing Craig's forgotten for the bungee. Can I really do this in a wedding dress? Or my dress is going to go over my head. You got shorts on it? No. Ah, yes, the Lycra shorts. Remember them? Well, Craig didn't. I haven't got anything on underneath. What we'll do is, once yes. you get your hands in, okay, yeah. I'll tie a bit of elastic on your dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's that sorted. Time for another journey skywards. And on the plus side, it's not as high as the first one. Oh, is that what we jump onto, Craig? Oh, my God, it's going really high. Don't even worry about it. Don't even look. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so here we are today. Greg has done all of this for Ellie. Whether it is what Ellie herself would have planned is almost immaterial. Ellie and Craig, could you please join hands? So, Craig... Do you promise to share your life with Ellie Mae and will you pledge to love, honour and care for her in tenderness and affection as long as you both shall live? I do. Ellie Mae, do you promise to share your life with Craig and will you pledge to love, honour and care for him in tenderness and affection as long as you both shall live? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Craig, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> and I give you Mr and Mrs Hoadley. Here we go again. Oh, good. So good. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh my good God! How was that? Oh, I want to get down. Oh my God! I want to get down, Craig. Really. You do not believe what I've been through. Craig, I feel really sick. I've got to admit, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> no, it's... I'll do it again. It's scared you know of heights yeah, and I'm scared of flying. Yeah, I know. I'm scared of everything. <laughs> She's down, without chucking up, crying or showing anyone her bits. All in all, that's a result. But what will she make of her reception? Oh, it looks so good in here. Oh, my God, look at the sweet <gasps> tail. Look at all the food. 
Oh, it looks so good. Now this is actually what exactly what I wanted. wanted. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, he's not, I just realised. Look at the flags. He's oh, done something for every country. Like... Are these all countries you've been to? Yeah, he's done a little France. Ah, look. It's a little shisha corner. Oh, Tara. Is it the shisha? <laughs> no, he's just put so much thought into it, and it's just really lovely. God, don't use shisha. <laughs> I've had a roller coaster of a day, but this is just amazing. We can just relax now. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> what do you reckon? It looks really good. It's the best I could do, short notice, but, <laughs> you know, I only had a couple of weeks. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> the marquee's a hit, no doubt partly because it's actually on the ground. And although the reception started earlier than planned, it swings back into action, this time with Ellie included. I'd like to say to Ellie that it's been the hardest three weeks of my life, the most stressful. I think you look beautiful and uh, I love you very much. I didn't think you'd put quite so much thought into it for Ellie. Everything that's here is for Ellie. Kerry uh, accepted me into the family. Uh, she cried a roof over my head. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done for me. I know how hard this was for you because you wanted to control every aspect of this wedding. <laughs> and uh, I hope I've done you proud as much as Ellie. These are for you. Didn't expect Craig to pull something no. like this off. The that was jump. the worst the part for me. Oh. To actually see it happen in front of your eyes, yeah. it was hard. It does yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, done really well. Yeah, he has. <laughs> quite surprised us all. And now he's, we know he can do it. He can continue <laughs> to do things. <laughs> what about you, Craig? That's the best wedding I've ever planned. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's been my only one, but still the best. Even if I planned the one, it wouldn't be through this one. Uh, something that I've learned through this experience is that this guy needs this girl to function. Because <laughs> without her, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> Obviously, if Ellie sat down and planned out her own wedding, it probably wouldn't involve skydiving and bungee jumping. But the plan was, when she looks back on this, go, do you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't have planned it, but I would, now I wouldn't change it. In the end, best wedding ever, so. What more can you do? I think you've done really well. It's a really nice location, perfect setting. I hate doing the bungee jump. You didn't want to do it, did you? No. Was it a bit of you that was going to not do I've it? I've just done a skydive, Craig. No, no. I could handle the skydive, and then I like got myself over it, I got myself did, did you dressed. Did not know about the bungee? No! Until you walked around? Until someone came in with a harness, and I was like, what the hell is it? I wouldn't have jumped if you hadn't jumped. <laughs> it's only because we were stuck together. Never doing another skydive or a bungee again. I've done enough now. Skydive, this skydive. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. No. To be continued. <laughs> no way. Next week. Girls do that. Gays don't do that. Former drama student Jack. <gasps> oh my god! Is hoping to impress his husband to be James by putting on a play and a wedding. But with James desperate for a traditional day. Just a little bit scared now. <laughs> what happens when our groom takes on a literary classic? It's a nice dream. <laughs> Will it be a Midsummer Night's Dream or a Shakespearean tragedy? What the hell is going Stop. on? Stop. Come fly with me, let's fly with me. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Pack up, let's fly away.